Ok, final drill before reaming 2.9 mm. Perfect. That's it. So far, so good. So, so far, so good. Uh, now I will start to put the chuck here. And I will make the right length of the piston. So then I can go uh, with the special small knife and uh, make space in this area. And the rest I will milling down in the middle like this, like this one. So okay, put it back. This length should be 11.20 millimeters. Just check and double check, of course, because one mistake is fast happen. 11. Point, yeah, actually 11. It's hard to make, but 11 millimeters. Okay. I will mark it first. Ok, the milling uh, is the next step in the procedure. Ok, uh, everything is set so far. Now you notice I put the dividing device flat. So the next step is uh, I put the center drill here. Make some nice center points here. Drill the mode stuff out and the last stuff I will using uh, special fine uh, mills and milling it uh, out. Of course only on the side, next to the piston pin. And this will give you a very light piston of course. And then it's almost done. The last step is grinding it to the final shape. And uh, cutting off the metal and it's been done. So this is the next step. So right now I just drilling out the excessive material till I'm through this ring and later what's left over just milling away. It's actually only because uh, the mills are more expensive than drills. So uh, like this is uh, cheap. If something uh, damaged, a drill is much more cheaper. Checking. Yep, and through. Other side. So I put them back in the main uh, chuck in the spindle and from now on it's a micrometer time because now it must work very accurate and very slowly. And I will check how much it is. And it's actually 40 millimeter and one hundredth of a millimeter. So uh, 
about two tenths I must go down. So one tenth I turn down and the one last tenth is grinding. And then very slowly and check and double check and check with the cylinder till I get a smooth finish. Okay, now the final cut before grinding. So I'm almost there and I must be very careful because a uh, little bit too much and it's uh, finished. So for the grinding I use uh, this uh, lathe tool, it's a perfect uh, grinding uh, cutting uh, steel. On this I put start with 800 uh, grind or wet paper and put it just to my piston. And of course be careful not to put it in an angle but already flat like this. And always use the micrometer and uh, check if it's the same thickness like here, like here. Just adjust and move. See here's a little bit looser than here. So I must concentrate a little bit more on this side. But I'm almost there. It's not very, very uh, careful working. Almost no pressure, very gently. And check again. Till I got the desired diameter. check if it's the same, it's the same. Now I'm on 12.86 uh, and it should be 85 around, but always now use the cylinder because I'm very very close now. Just a little bit more. And check again. But now I'm starting testing the cylinder because I'm very close now. See, it's almost fitting. Really, very, very little bit. One little more, and then I change for a 1200 uh, structure because it must be also nice, smooth. Okay, I change for finer paper now. I go for 1200 and so on and so on till you get the right size. But now, of course, step by step, very slowly.
Okay, uh, I just was polishing uh, the piston about 30 minutes and uh, now actually it's almost there. It must go tight and actually by pressing the cylinder on the piston and maybe turning slowly, gently, pushing back and on and back because it's polished uh, surface you get very very tiny tiny scratches and the idea is to check if it's uh, supporting everywhere on the same level so just make little tiny it's not even scratches but just tiny marks and then you can see very well if your piston is uh, nice round and support all around like this and if not correct this but I think it's really nice it would be good good piston and it must be still for diesel very tight but it's just too tight a little bit more but really very gently because I'm really now almost there Okay, it's done. The fit is there. Actually, it's of course it's uh, opposite, but should go like this. But uh, by checking my picture where it's uh, supporting the iron and uh, twisting a little bit and gently cleaning and again checking, this is the right fit. Tight, not too tight, but just tight. And. Uh, so only the pin, I make the hole on 3mm and uh, cut him off this piece of petal, uh, metal and it, it's finished. A lot of work but uh, will be nice. So I make now with the uh, Rima. Make the hole for the piston pin. <coughs> this is a three millimeter, but uh, I prefer grindling. So what I do, I, I make it almost the right size, and the last step, I use diamond past and grind it to the right size. Because this is much more accurate and a smoother finish than this. This will be almost good. But only the last little piece grinding. See, it's almost fit. Of course, I can use the hammer and smash it in, but it's not the idea. So, gently use a 2.95 millimeter pin with diamond paste and uh, make it as close as possible. And then it's finished. So, okay, it's almost finished. I uh, prefer to use the saw to cut it off. And then later I will use uh, this kind of collets to flip around this because this you can... Uh So everything is together and uh, gently start turning the engine, but as you hear, sounds great. 
move still a little bit tight, but of course it's kept new and must be better run in. But compression is like new. So this will be definitely a running engine again. Just carefully turn a couple of times by hand and uh, allow to free up everything. So soon a test uh, run. I'm really curious. Should be good. So on in all around five hours work on one small piston. But it's worth it because we got a running engine again. Not about the time but about the fun. Thanks for interest. So okay here's the moment of the truth. Let's see what we do. It's uh, actually the big prop is eight by six, should be seven by four and also a lot of uh, extra oil is in there. Thanks for watching.